Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's chit chat. Get ready with me. I hope that y'all are doing well today. I am very cranky this morning, so I apologize if that's coming off on camera, but I hardly got any sleep last night. For some reason, I was just like tossing and turning all night long, couldn't get comfortable, had to actually get up and like walk around for a little bit a couple of times last night. I don't know what caused that, but um, yeah, I just, I hardly slept last night, so I'm very sleepy and I would love some coffee right now. But so today, um, I know that the majority of the people who interact with me on my channel are relatively new YouTubers like myself. And you know what? One of life's little pleasures is using a brand new makeup sponge. This feels so good right now. But anyway, you know, some people have either less or more or pretty much like the same, about the same number of um, supporters that I have on YouTube. And we all have different goals for our channels. You know, some of us are just doing this for fun. Some of us want to grow our audience and maybe turn this into something that we can do full time. Some of us decided to start a channel because we want to teach people what we know or just, you know, broaden our experience. But, you know, we all have different reasons why we decided to do YouTube. But for those of you who... um have been subscribed to my channel for some time. You, you probably know that these um, daily videos are pretty new for me. I've been doing them for, I wanna say, maybe about 10 days or so now. And my subscriber count hasn't skyrocketed. I have gotten just a couple more subscribers since I started doing this, but what I've been noticing is that my watch time is going up consistently. And I'm sure you guys know that watch time is very important for um, exposure for your channel. So if you happen to be maybe like stuck in a rut right now or you feel like you don't know what else you can do to um, get more subscribers and just get your channel out there, I would say, and mind you, I've only been doing this for like a couple of weeks, but I would say, you know, no matter how consistent you already are, on YouTube and no matter how much you're already uploading upload even more because I've noticed in that very short amount of time that these daily videos are really helping me I've been noticing um, like I said my watch time has gone up and I don't know if you guys have ever clicked on when you go into creator studio and you see um, I think it's called YouTube Studio Beta. I clicked on it just to, you know, see what it was. And I just clicked around. And you can actually see, like, your click-through rate on there. You can see the number of impressions, which is, like, number of times that people actually see your thumbnails. You can also see your click-through rate. And according to YouTube, click-through rates will vary anywhere from, like, um, 2 to 10%. And right now, mine's is at like 4%. Of course, you can also see like watch time and actual view count and all of that. But you can actually see what I like about it is you can actually see how many times people have actually come across your um, your thumbnails. But I've been noticing a very consistent increase in my watch time which makes sense because I'm putting out more content for people to watch. I think it may also help that in general these videos are a tad shorter than like the usual um, like makeup tutorial. I guess in my mind because the videos are a little bit shorter they're like quicker to get through so I guess it's more likely that someone will watch the video the whole way through. Um, but I also think, like I said, my subscriber count hasn't gone up all that much since I started these daily videos. But because I'm uploading every day, my thumbnails are probably popping up to the people who are subscribed to my channel. They're probably showing up on their feed more often, so they're more likely to click and watch my videos. So, um, So people are... They're seeing me more often is what I'm saying. 
Now, one thing that I'm still trying to work on and still trying to be more consistent with is being um, consistent on other social media handles. So I am on Twitter, I am on Instagram. And when I first started Twitter, before I started Twitter, I just didn't see the fascination with it. Like I didn't understand what the big deal was about Twitter. But I also went through that with Instagram because I remember when Instagram like became a thing I would always say to myself, like, why, like, if I want to post a picture to my friends, I'll just do it on Facebook. Like, what's the point in having Instagram and Facebook together? But, um, so yeah, I felt that way about Twitter too. I just, I just thought it was too much, like too much social media, but I quickly got pretty hooked on, um, Twitter and I was on there like multiple times a day, interacting with people, commenting on different, um, discussions and, you know following more people, gaining more followers. Then eventually, like, I just had to kind of cut back. I just didn't have the time to just keep being consistent on those channels or on those websites. So I believe on Instagram, you're supposed to post at least um, once a day. And then on Twitter, it's supposed to be like multiple times a day. And I just, I post when I can. Like on Instagram, I've been trying to do like daily like selfies on Instagram, especially like in the morning. I'll do like a, a selfie and I'll say like good morning or have a good day. But I even fell off from that just because sometimes I forget. And then on Twitter, um, putting up these daily videos on YouTube does actually help me on Twitter because... Um, I have it set up so that every time I post a video, it'll automatically post to Twitter. Now, when I first started with Twitter, I was trying not to do that because I didn't want to do like any third party post on any, um, website. I just thought it looked more authentic when you actually post, I guess like an organic post is what I'm trying to say. But, uh, I decided to turn that feature on to have YouTube post to Twitter for me just so that I wouldn't forget. I do want to be able to promote even a more consistent upload schedule on YouTube. So um, I do think that I'm going to scale these daily videos back and only do them Monday through Friday because I'm thinking like, for instance, this Saturday, I don't think I have anywhere to go. There would be no need for me to be, for me to do a get ready with me and that'll free up some time for me to um, pre-record other videos so I want to be able to say like on my YouTube um, like my channel banner I want to be able to um, promote something like daily you know morning get ready with me every Monday through Friday and other videos twice a week and that's probably what I'll change it to but those other videos that I'm doing twice a week I wish I could commit to like specific days of the week I'm just very I'm very scared to do that because I feel like I don't want to say you know every like Tuesday and Saturday and then you know something happens and I'm not able to upload on Tuesdays and Saturdays so I'm still trying to figure that out but my point to all of this is you know if you're kind of relatively new to YouTube and you're still trying to you know grow your channel and see what else you can do I've noticed just in the past like two weeks or so that I've been doing these uh, daily uploads that they really are helping me gain a little bit more traction on YouTube. So no matter how often you're uploading, if you could upload even more and be even more consistent, I'm just try it and see how it helps. Before I was doing these daily videos, I was doing, I was uploading, I would say on average like twice a week, but like I said, I've noticed some increase in traction on my channel since I started uploading every single day. So I really hope that that helps. I feel like my voice is kind of raspy. I apologize, but like I said, I'm like hardly awake right now. So um, I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's little chit chat and I hope that I will see y'all back here tomorrow. Until then, take care. Have a good day, y'all. Bye.